Hello everyone, this is Jack and welcome back to another Microsoft video. Today in this video, we are going to take a look at how you can make a laser security system in your Minecraft world. So as you can see right now, the laser is green, so we can walk through, which means it is safe to walk in and it is open. But when you want to arm this thing, you can just press this button and as you can see, now the security is turned on. So if someone tries to walk in, you can see when we walk in, potions are going to be fired and you're going to be immediately killed off. So we can see that the restroom is very compact and I've tried to make it as easy as possible to build it in your survival world and uses the least amount of resources so you can build it very easily. So the way this works is by using these observers over here. As you can see there is a little bit of string on top. Whenever you step on the string it will update it and the observer will take an input from over here and will power this repeater. Now when our system is turned off as you can see there is nothing to power for this repeater but when we press this button as you can see the lights are gonna turn red and now it's activated. So over here we have a block so whenever you step on the string it will send a signal through this repeater which will power these pistons which will power this observer over here which will trigger the mechanism. Now for the lights over here we have some glass panes. You can also have full glass pieces but it really doesn't matter. So whenever you press the button these block swappers over here are gonna push these stains in front of the beacon which will change the color of the light. And of course you can add any defense mechanism that you want. Over here in the system we just have some droppers firing out potions. You can also add lava and arrows and whatever you really want. So to build this thing what you want to do is start off with a 9 by 5 area and it has to be 5 high so this is going to be your floor level. So build all of that and then we're going to be starting. So over here the diamond blocks over here represent the blocks that should be any kind of blocks that will trigger these beacons. So the first thing that you want to do is place down 3 beacons and we're going to be placing 3 temporary blocks over here, 3 over here and place regular pistons on top just like this facing this way. So now what you want to do is place all the color glass. So we're going to be grabbing some lime stained glass and we're going to be placing it like this and red stained glass over here. Now what you want to do is go over here, place some blocks and some repeaters facing into the blocks and connect these repeaters with redstone. Now we're going to be doing the same thing over here, which is blocks just like this, repeaters and connect them with redstone. So now what you want to do is go over here and break these blocks, add a sticky piston over here with a redstone block and a sticky piston over here with a redstone block just like that. So now what you want to do is go over here, place a sticky piston facing upwards with a block like that and we're going to be placing any kind of pistons right over here and one over here and place an observer facing out from this piston and same over here with a block on its face. So now come over here and place slabs over here and slabs over here and add repeaters going this way just like this. So now what you want to do is go and place observers on top of these repeaters facing upwards and add blocks just like this and we're going to be placing dispenser facing upwards just like that. So we're going to be doing the same on this side which is observers facing upwards with blocks just like this and dispensers over there. So now what you want to do is go over here and place observers facing downwards and we're going to be doing the same thing on this side and we're going to be placing slabs going just like this, a slab over there and a slab over here and over here. We're going to be adding buttons on these and you can also add levers. These are just to redirect the position of these redstone dust over here. So now come over here and place two hoppers just like this and add a redstone dust over there and a repeater facing this way. Now go over here and add all of your string on top of these observers. So go over here and add glass or any sort of block over here which is transparent and you can also add torches on side of these and add carpet on top so it doesn't really show anything. So now come to the side with the piston and the redstone block and we're going to be placing a button over here and add a block just like this redstone dust over there, a block over here going into like this, a repeater over here and we're going to be adding some blocks 
So what you want to do now is place a dropper facing this way, a dropper facing upwards and a dropper facing this way just like this and what you need now is a hopper going into this dropper over here and now what you want to do is add a restaurant competitor over here place a block and a, a block over there place break these blocks and we're going to be adding some slabs or any blocks and add a restaurant dust over there and place a block over there place a repeater going into a restaurant dust and then we're going to be adding a slab over here a restaurant repeater add a observer facing this way in front of the observer you want to add a block right just like that we're going to be adding a restaurant torch over here and add a repeater going this way and then add a observer facing into a block just like that now what you want to do is place a item inside of this dropper over here and when you press this button as you can see the lights are going to be changed and your security system is now going to be active so what you want to do is synchronize this with the lights so what you want to do is break this restroom block and add a block over there and now as you can see when it's green it is turned off so now it's in sync and when you press this button the lights turn red and the system is activated now what you want to do is just add potions and arrows or any definite defense mechanism that you want and you can also cover this up with carpets so that was the end of this video i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching and goodbye